Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Here we are, we made the character creator state in the last, uh, in the last video. Um, I'm going to make sure I close everything but this. Because what we need to do is we need to create an array outside which we send in so this is a good thing uh, to talk about in C sharp uh, you can enable some pointer stuff uh, so it's, it's considered unsafe to do that uh, but you could but you know generally everything is a reference here we don't use pointers or anything it's just references so when I send in a character to be created in another state it's gonna be created there even if I send in a reference here, for example, I say character character and I say character equals new character in here. Even though I connect it, kind of sent in another pointer from outside, another reference, it's still going to do it in the local reference. And then it's going to be deleted once it reaches the end of the function and that character isn't going to be transferred to where I want it to be. So the way we have to do this is we have to create a, a character array of sorts somewhere where uh, we'll know it will exist and that is going to be probably here in our game game class because this is where everything stays private character or pri private array list characters all right an array list is gonna go crazy because i need to include Whoops, I need to include collections here. And then that's going to be fine. Characters uh, is unused. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So we have our array list here of characters. And we're going to add some stuff to this. Um, to start off, we need to create an array list to send through here to main menu and through main menu to character creator and to game and some states might not require this so we're not going to put it in all states but most of the states will so the first step is going to be main menu where I'm going to do an array list um, characters or character let's call it character list and then we need to include this here as well anywhere where we're going to use a realist character list. Let's make sure our game also is called character list. Uh, where is my game here? Good. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Why is that? Oh, that's very interesting. Character list. Good. And we're going to send it through to this character list and it's going to be empty from the start of course but we need to initialize it and just like we do here in its states we need to initialize it and the idea is maybe to just do it in init variables because that's called first or we'll just make a private void init character list because we might have to load some stuff from file into that list later or save it to a file or whatever so we're gonna keep it in a function here uh, this uh, this character list equals new array list like that very good um, ba -ba -ba -ba. oh that's good good so we have our character list and I think its type is going to be set as soon as we add something to it. But we're sending it to main menu. So that was the step, first step. And we need to save it in the main menu as well. Because if you remember, uh, that's how we do with states. Uh, or the state is actually saved in state.cs right here. This is how it is. Protected, all that stuff. But for this case... You know, not all states are going to have this character list. So I'm going to create it in here directly. Array 
list clear list like that protected uh, this character list equals character list good very nice and to keep track of what is a local variable and what is not a local variable this is how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do underscore on local variables and this type of thing on regular variables so we're gonna have to probably do that the same way anywhere else where we send it in so I'm gonna keep make sure I keep that keep that style so now character list is set here we can send it further into character creator state I'm just gonna do that directly this character list and we'll go into character creator state and do the same thing. Go ahead and duplicate this line, control D, forgot about that. Collections. And then add array list character list here. And then we're gonna do a array list there a list right there. A reference to that. Character list equals character list. Don't forget to set this as well, otherwise you're going to have a bunch of issues. Um, very good, very good, very good, very, very, very good. So once that is done, of course game also requires that, so I'm just going to make sure I do this. This, or uh, array list character list. There a list. And duplicate this line. Remove that. Boom. Uh, array list character list. This character list equals character list. See how much tedious work you got to do? It's always a lot of tedious work. Am I recording? Yes. Good. Character list is set for all our states that require it. Now we're going to go ahead into character creator, and this is where the magic is going to happen. So if you remember, we created a character class. And it has a bunch of stuff. We have a character uh, constructor, which we can use you, by, by inputting a name. And that is what we're going to do in here. That is exactly what we're going to what we're gonna do. So one is going to be our case for creating a character. Case one break. And this is going to create a character. Uh, we can just write something out maybe. Character created. Write uh da, 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 da. let's go into gui here and just create a function called menu or menu announcement or just announcement announcement string and this is going to be a that's error so this is going to be a something like that maybe and then number one zero and then a new line and before the new line we're gonna do a little exclamation mark good there's an announcement maybe something like that whatever you can you can change this as you would like let's go back into character creator and let's do console write gui dot announcement character created character created good good and this is just going to be a default character we're not going to do anything special this character list dot add add um, new character called uh, head or no, whatever some kind of character let's add a few more just to make sure this works uh, Bob it was a long time we had a Bob in the chat right here Bob in the video uh, and then maybe Sven because we're all Swedish and then we have our stuff so that's gonna be happening on one so if we run this hopefully we won't crash hopefully we will so I can just make sure everything is okay nope we're good okay uh new game won't do anything character creator we're gonna be in here character character created okay we got a bunch of problems 
Okay, so I found the problem. Obviously, I'm dumb. Okay, you guys probably learned that by now. Uh, but I haven't, apparently. So I forgot to uh, include this in it character list here. Just in game. Just make sure you call it. So we actually have some space in this in this thing. Um, and that's great. That's great. And then I put this at the bottom. Character created. I did test this, so it is working with all our bobsmen and stuff. But let's just run this once together to make sure it's working. So character creator new character and it says character created and blah 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 minus one exit and minus one and now what we're gonna do is in the main menu itself once we're done with this we're gonna go ahead and process input so let's create a another menu option here menu option three list character Characters, list characters like that and that is going to do some special for me so case 3 break uh, this con god damn it console dot right line uh, this get no count all right we're just gonna print that out Good, good, good. And just see if that is that is correct. So first of all, main menu, nothing's happening. List character zero. Let's go to character create a new character minus one, and then uh, list characters. We have three there. So we created three characters, and they're saved in that original uh, array. Good job, guys and girls. That is it for this video. At least we have some characters being created. In the next one, we might work on some game state stuff just so we can create some kind of a uh, player character printout thing and a nice character sheet so we can just list all the beautiful, beautiful stats. And we're going to start having some fun. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.